After evacuating the Amona settlement outpost overnight, tensions and emotions are still high and the country is still divided over the settlement issue. Well, as said, there are two sides to every story and in the Middle East especially, it's important to analyze them all. Here to discuss how the Palestinians are reacting to the recent settlement activity and Israel's recent policy since Donald Trump's inauguration is Dr. Mordechai Kedel, a lecturer at Bar Ilan University and an expert in Middle East affairs. Thank you so much for coming in. Pleasure. All right, so let's begin. You know, we know that the PA basically sees this Amona evacuation as just a drop in the bucket. Um, what do you think about this evacuation? Is it necessary? Um, and what is the greater goal that it will achieve between the Israelis and the PA? Well, it's not only a drop in the bucket. The, the head of the village, Sirwad, which is right near Amona, and he was one of the pe people who appealed to the Supreme Court to evacuate Amona, he said that those people who are evacuated from Amona, their place is Europe, not even here. And this is quoted in the Israeli press this today. Means that from their point of view, Amona is only the beginning. Tel Aviv will be next. So for them, Israel, uh, Israel is as illegitimate, just like Amona. So this is, and, and here's a, some of a main, mainstream of the Fatah movement. He's not an extremist. So this is how they view it. Amona shouldn't be there, just like Tel Aviv. Just like the settlement of Tel Aviv, as they, as they call it. So this is more or less how they view it. They, don't, they, they are not impressed by the visions of uh, opposition and violence and what happens there. They think that the whole thing is a, is a show, which Israel tries to show to the world as if it is hard for Israel to evacuate Amona, they don't buy the story. Now, Israel approved around 6,000 new homes in the West Bank and Jerusalem, and the PA is acting, asking for this activity to end. They're going to the UN, asking the UN to take action. What do you think will, the outcome will be here? Is anything actually going to happen? Are there going to be international repercussions on Israel as a result of this? Well, I think that Israel should join the global uh, declaration for the rights of indigenous peoples. And actually, we are indigenous, according to this declaration of the United Nations. We should uh, declare ourselves as the indigenous people of the land of Israel. And uh, it, it fits the international law. It legitimizes the mere being of the state of Israel and on every part of the western uh, land of Israel means everything which to the west from the Jordan Valley. And this is how Israel should treat this whole issue. All right, well, thank you so much for coming in. Pleasure. Short interview today, and, and hopefully we'll see you soon.